What if I told you you could learn Articulate Storyline 360 for free? Would you be interested? Well, guess what? Today's your lucky day because I'm going to talk about how to do just that. Dr. Ray here, everybody, and that's what we're talking about today, learning Articulate 360 for free. Um, Storyline 360, I should specify. Um, how to do it. What are some good resources that I recommend when you do this? Okay, a um, couple things I want to point out before I go into the resources. First thing, Storyline... 360 is a pretty easy piece of software. It's really just a step above PowerPoint. It's not much, if you can use PowerPoint, Storyline is really easy taking it to the next level. It's really not much, that much more difficult to grasp how it works. It looks in functions like PowerPoint with a little timeline built into it, but it's very simple to actually use. In fact, if you go to my intro to Storyline video, I think it's only like 20 minutes. Like that's how quickly it takes me to kind of show someone like the nuts and bolts to get started in Storyline. Like it's really not a difficult piece of software to learn. Um, second thing I want to point out is if you're the type of person that really wants some direction and is like, you know what, I probably really need a course to learn this. I just am not the person that can sit down and do this myself. I would recommend that you go to your state and look at the universities and take an actual accredited course on how to do this stuff because you want something that actually counts on your resume that you can put on there. Um, so those would be my recommendations. I just want to kind of get that out of the way. And I never discourage anyone from going and getting training, but if you are going to do it, look at those accredited places that will count on your resume and actually look good to a hiring manager. Okay, having said that, let's get into it. Learning Articulate 360 storyline for free. How do you do it? All right, and let me pull up on the screen. First thing, I'm on Articulate's website. Uh, we got articulate.com. And I am at the Storyline 360 user guide, which is actually brilliant. Um, and you can see the way that the user guide, so this is my first recommendation, is using Storyline's user guide because it's great. Storyline, creating a new project, setting your slide size, tips for managing files. Basically going through every single thing here, literally, how to do all of these. And if you get stuck on any of these, you can find a video on how to do it. I mean, this literally walks through doing everything. You can see how long this is. That's just the start. It's a perfectly almost organized course. Great, great, great way to start this. Then, also on Articulate's web. Now, notice I'm staying with Articulate. Why? Because they're the company that makes the software. And I trust their tutorials a little more. Um, and I'll tell you why I do, why I trust uh, these kind of tutorials and why I'm recommending these resources. But on Storyline's website, assuming that you have the trial version or you paid for a Storyline, you can access these video tutorials that they've created. And you can access on-demand training, which are videos that walk you through how to do all the stuff in their user guide. And some of these are pretty in-depth. Like some of these are like an hour long, hour and 23 minutes, like animation basics for Storyline 360. And there's a bunch of these. Like, I mean, look, I mean, when I say there's a bunch, there's like a bunch. All right. Then, okay, this is just Storyline's website. We've got an actual user community for Articulate Storyline where you can ask questions. You can see like 26 minutes ago, someone's asking a question and there are already four comments. So you can see there's an actual community where if you get stuck, you can ask questions. So these are all ways that you can learn Articulate Storyline for free. All right, now these are all on Articulate's websites, but what else is out there? So there are other resources. And one of my greatest resources for learning things like this is YouTube. And if you just go search YouTube for Articulate Storyline 360, you're gonna come across some of my videos and videos created by other people, which I think are great and great starting points. Um, however, I will recommend that if you're learning the software, stick with videos by Storyline at least a start until you need more specific help. Um, and when I click on their, this is their channel, Articulate, so these are all free on YouTube. I click videos, there's literally like tons. And I mean like there's hundreds of videos. Um, pay attention to the, the title of the video because some of these are about Rise or like something else. And some of them are like from different versions of storylines. So you gotta be a little careful, but they have tons and tons and tons of free videos. And then after this, if you do went through the Storyline user guide, the Storyline videos they've created themselves, their, uh, all their videos on YouTube, and you've asked and gotten any questions answered from the community, there are other places to look. And one of those is 
YouTube. Another one is LinkedIn Learning. Now, I said free and LinkedIn Learning isn't free. There are ways to get LinkedIn Learning for free, like through work, university, or just ch go check your local library. Um, a lot of local libraries, public libraries, will offer LinkedIn Learning for free. Um, I'm not as thrilled with LinkedIn Learning as I am with other sources. Like, I'd much rather use Articulate Storylines actual website than um, LinkedIn Learning. I've just had a couple bad experiences where I found incorrect information in LinkedIn Learning's courses. Not all of them. Some of them are great. But um, I've just found some incorrect information sometimes. So I'm a little always hesitant to recommend LinkedIn Learning for things um, because of that. So, those are the places that you want to learn this to learn this for free. As I said, this is a not a difficult piece of software, but you get to this point where you're learning this, and I said, you know, I talk about some of those next steps, like what happens when you know the software. So you're going through and you're like doing this, and you're like, okay, I know how to I, I know how to work with the interface, I know how to make the slides and stuff like that. I know how to like screen capture whatever you're trying to do in 360 i know how to take like create some animations and create some quiz questions but how do i create a piece of multimedia learning now that my friend is a different question from how do i learn articulate 360. how do you create multimedia learning is not the same question you're talking about now going from learning a piece of software a tool to actually utilizing it for something two different things. So if you're asking that question, now you're the person who, when you ask me that, I'm going to say, you're the type of person that now needs to go and take an, a, go an accredited like instructional design certificate program, or you probably need like a master's degree or something. Like you need to learn instructional design. You're now asking beyond. Just to give you an example of what that looks like, if I look at my first video here, like how do you get started creating e-learning? Like, <clears throat> when you're creating e-learning, you always have some kind of introduction where you gain the learner's attention, create the objectives, stimulate prior knowledge. Then you create your presentation and have some kind of actually get the learners to learn. And how do you assess the learners? Now we're talking about like actually creating e-learning. And this is a different question than how do we use Articulate 360 Storyline or whatever tool you're trying to use. This is instructional design. This is where I tell you you're going to need books. You're going to need probably someone to help guide you through how to create well-designed instruction that's effective that people can learn from. So if that's your next step and you don't know how to do that, you're going to need additional help. Um, but that's it. The software is really, as a tool itself, like it's basic, it's simple to learn. Um, not difficult. I've always said a lot of ID software is simple. It is simple. When you want to start creating some interactions, some of the logic can get a little challenging at first and you got to work through that as you're going through and creating like your first mock-up for your portfolio or whatever. Um, you're going to have to type in Google a bunch and try to troubleshoot. That's the beauty of creating software. That's the point of it is to challenge you and, and you're going to get stuck and figure out how to troubleshoot that software and become an expert in it. That's how you do it. But just the basic nuts and bolts of learning Articulate 360 storyline, super, super, super easy. Um, none of the ID software is very complicated. It's really a step above PowerPoint. I think that you can do it. I think that you can be successful. Get a goal. Get something that you want to create. Sit down with the software and start to hash it out and see what it looks like. There's all kinds of cool free resources within the software, like characters and stuff like that, images that you can pull up. But really, I'd sit down with this user guide and these YouTube videos and start to go through it all. And that's how you learn it. There are other resources out there. If you have anything good that you like, go ahead and post it below. Um, if you're like posting an advertisement, I'm going to delete that. But if you're posting something that's actually good and free for people, I'd love to like keep it on there and check it out myself. Uh, maybe even provide it for a resource for my students in my classes. So, um, But those are my tips all. Um, good luck learning the software. Later, everybody.